<coughs> so this is my uh, reflection on the Dutch angle um, experimentation I did. Um, so starting off the Dutch angle, I experimented with a low angle, um, smooth movement, uh, uh, certain tilt, and then smooth movement with even more of a tilt, and then I did shaky movement with a certain amount of shake, and then so shaky movement with more shake and a tilt to the other side. Um, so filming it, um, uh, so I did this to see which one would emphasize a distorted look for a mood of distress and tension. Um, the one technique which use which emphasizes this mood the most will be uh, used in my production uh, during the panic attack scene. Um, so it just sort of emphasizes that even more, and then. The chosen one will probably be coupled with the echo effect and then some eerie sound effects for that for the right scene. Uh, so I sh to make sure my shots were smooth when I wanted them to be, I set my camera up on the tripod, um, but not set down on the floor. I carried it around so it's like the tripod acted like weight uh, for st the steady movement. Um, I filmed my brother walking from room, one room to another, just sort of simple action as he had, um, uh, with a bit of a limp. The limp was kind of like, uh, cause it would be in the scene and then it, I wanted to add to the, uh, camera movement, but he kind of acted it badly. Um, so the low angle, which is the first one I did, um, it looks good. Um, but I believe it doesn't really look add to any uh, and it doesn't add to the disorientation that I wanted however I think if it was shaky and low angle and looked up a little bit more then it might work and it'll look better uh, the next one I did was the smooth smooth one with little tilt and um, which doesn't look too bad um, I do like it uh, the smooth movement is good uh, the then I did even more of a tilt at a smooth movement um, the movement looked good and I was able to pull it off effectively with the tripod however the smooth movement and doesn't add disorientation so I won't be using the smooth movement um, but out of the two I prefer experimentation two out of the two smooth because um, it emphasizes uh, this disorientation which is what I like uh, so with more tilt it looks better for a trippy feel um, the research and art article helped me as well because um, it helped me to understand that there was no limits to how tilted the camera can be as long as you're you know as long as there's a reason to it and I believe there was so I didn't flip it too much but I've kind of tilted it quite a bit. Uh, then I did the shaky with one side and then the shaky from one side flipping over to the other. Um, uh, I filmed it twice um, so I'm making sure I get in the right one, more exper experimentation stuff done. Uh, the screenshots show the tilt from one side to the other. Um, I believe that the shaky Dutch angle works a lot better than the smooth ones as they add the mood of disorientation. Um, I also prefer the second shaky experiment as the tilt from one side to the other uh, looks really cool. Uh, it does add to it, it works well. Um, whenever effects music are added to the um, to my chosen one which is the shaky experiment 2 I believe it will work really well with the scene and it will just look good as well um, so yeah that's my two experimentation they was all really used on the tripod with the camera moving it about shaking it or move smooth movement uh, I found the tripod was just a little bit easier than handheld because if I didn't want shake I would get it in without a tripod so my tripod was kind of like a a weight like I said at the start 
Uh, so in conclusion, I prefer the angle when it's tilted more, um, and with the shaky movement when it tilts from one side to the other. So if I put them two together, then I'll get the you know the shot I want, because uh, I believe it creates the perfect distorted look that gives the right mood of the stress and tension, which is you know what the character's feeling during the time of a panic attack. Uh, and this shot with added echo effect to music, like I said, it would look really good. Um, the article, again, just sort of understanding it correctly using the shot, which I believe I have. So, um, yeah, so now I'm sort of better prepared. I understand which shot looks right for me and which one I'm going to use in my uh, final shot. So, yeah, sweet. That's the uh, end of my Dutch angle reflection.